Everybody, this is Mark Philip Estudica, and I'm going to be walking you through the installation process of Toon Boom's Storyboard Pro 6.0. I'm assuming that you purchased the software through us at Studica, and so I will be catering this tutorial to those of you who did that. Um, if you purchased the software through someone else, um, I'm confident these instructions will work for you, but there may be some differences that you might need to consult with your reseller about. Now, to actually download the software, I will point out that if you purchase through Studica, you should receive an email at your academic email address that you used to purchase the software with us from. And that email should contain your download link as well as your license key for the software. If you did not receive that uh, or you're missing one or the other or something along those lines, uh, you should probably reach out to us. You could contact our uh, sales reps uh, at the email address sales at studica.com. And let somebody know that you did not receive that, and we'll do our, and we will uh, work to resolve that issue as quickly as possible. But once you have that email, you'll basically want to follow the link inside of it. I don't have an example here to show, but you should be able to find it pretty quickly. In that email, you just follow the link to download the file, and it should download an executable. Uh, so on Windows, it should download this kind of executable you see here: sbp 6 win one three 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 four dot exe. And you should also get your license key. So you want to copy that license key and probably save it somewhere for future reference. Once your file is downloaded, uh, you'll want to right click on it and choose run as administrator, or at least that's what I recommend. You probably don't need to run as administrator, but in general, this is the best way to avoid any errors. And when you do run as administrator, it's going to open up the executable. And I'm going to select my language as English, hit OK and prepare to install. And depending on your computer, this may take a long time. This may go really quick. It just depends on how good your computer is. Once it's done initializing the installer, we'll go ahead and click Next. We'll accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. Uh, I'm going to leave the default file path for Storyboard. You can change this if you want. I only recommend changing this if you are familiar with your computer and your hard drives and that you know what you're doing. In general, the average user is not going to need to modify this file path. So you can go ahead and click Next and just click the Install button. And it's very straightforward. And at this point, we just wait for the software to finish installing. And again, depending on your computer, that could take a while. It could go really fast. Uh, but just be patient with it and it will finish in due time. Okay, once your software is done installing, you'll see this window telling you that the installation is complete. And what you'll want to do at this point is actually activate the software. And to do that, what we'll do is click on Finish. And we'll actually open up Storyboard. So you'll see it create an icon on my desktop for Storyboard Pro 6. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And it's going to tell me that it's unable to find a, a valid license for the application. Don't worry. I know this error looks like some critical failure, uh, but if you just click on OK, it's going to go ahead and launch the wizard for you. And then at this point, uh, you want to click the Activate Now button here at the bottom area. So now that we're here, what we we'll want to do is just click on Activate License. And we'll use Internet Activation. And uh, the license that you should get through Studica should be Single User. So we'll click Single User. And then we'll go ahead and put in our license. And then we'll click on Activate. And now it tells me when my license is valid till, and it pretty much tells me that I'm good. And then I can hit Start. And Storyboard Pro will boot right up. And if you have an old version of Storyboard, it will basically ask you if you want to migrate these settings. I'm just going to choose no. And now the software is open and we can fully use it. And uh, at this point, you are left to your own devices and hopefully you get what you need out of the software. So with that being said, I do want to say if you do have any uh, issues with this process or anything along those lines, I do recommend contacting our sales department who can get you in touch with a technical representative like myself to help you. Uh, that's again, sales at studica.com. And I do want to point out as well that we only offer assistance to people who've purchased with us. So if you purchase through a different reseller, 
uh, I will not be able to help you with any of your issues, unfortunately. So that being said, I want to thank you for your purchase and want to wish you a great day. Thank you.